Welcome to the ninth annual Ag Tech Innovation Summit at Research Park. I'm Tim Sinclair, voice of Illinois basketball. Whether you've come here from across campus or around the world, we're glad you made the time to join in this signature ecosystem event. We're proud to be the land of the orange and the blue, although today we'll add in a whole lot of green. Today, we celebrate why this place is authentically labeled the epicenter of ag tech. Some of you may know that today is also a prime time battle of fierce Big Ten rivals. While we're on the cusp of the official March Madness for basketball, it's always the season for innovation at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. I-L-L. I-N-I. Hey, Golini. Well, thank you, Tim. That was quite a special message to get our day started. We're now going to talk about our platinum sponsor for today, Intersect Illinois. Intersect Illinois is a public-private partnership focused on global business development for the state of Illinois. We would like to welcome to the podium CEO of Intersect Illinois, Dan Seals. Good morning, everybody. Everybody's awake, wonderful. Um, I'm actually curious, how many folks are here from outside of Illinois? Just show of hands. We've got a good group. Welcome to Illinois. We have this annoying habit in Illinois of quoting Abraham Lincoln. So I'm gonna keep that tradition going. Abraham Lincoln said that at the starting line of life, Everyone deserves an equal chance. At the starting line of life, everyone deserves an equal chance. But it's hard to do that when there's so much food insecurity, not just in our country, but around the world. Any way you want to attack this problem, ag tech has to be part of the solution. The work that everyone in this room is doing has to be part of the solution. But ag tech, ag tech can't do it by itself. History is full of breakthroughs that didn't go anywhere because they didn't have the proper support. They didn't happen in the right ecosystem. And so I wanna take a moment to talk about our ecosystem here in Illinois and how we do things. I am hoping that there are some slides that happen when I press this button, let's find out. All right. So let me just start at the top. Illinois, and this was just announced last week, is the number two state in the country for business expansions and relocations, with over 500 businesses in 2023 expanding or relocating here in Illinois. We are also number two for our infrastructure and our educational system. We are number five in the country for the largest economy. We have a $1 trillion economy. That's something you can't really do on accident, right? If it were easy to do, 44 other states would have already done it by now. It's a trillion dollar economy. And if we were a country on our own, we'd be a member of the G20. We have the 18th largest economy on the planet. Let's look and see who's here. You have a huge array of companies from ADM to Ingredion, Premiant, or Tate & Lyle if you prefer, um, U.S. Foods, McDonald's, Kraft, Mondelez, some of the biggest food companies in the world are here, not by accident. And it's not just the big companies. Small companies are here too. In 2022, Inc. Magazine said Illinois was top five in the nation for supporting small business. But my favorite stat is the number of startups that are coming out of our universities. They say this is the epicenter they're not kidding. We see a ridiculous amount of startup activity coming out of the University of Illinois in particular, but from all of our universities. So why are these big companies and these small companies both here? I would argue that Illinois has two competitive advantages that you can take advantage of. The first is a skilled workforce. We have some of the best universities in the world some people think it's the University of Chicago, some people think it's Northwestern, but University of Illinois 
produces more engineers every year than MIT, Caltech, and Stanford combined. It is an army of talent that comes out of this university every year. And as one of my colleagues last night said, it's not just engineering, it's engineering and. It's engineering and ag talent. It's engineering and software talent. There are so many different assets that the university brings to bear that help support ag tech startups. And of course, it's not all about the R&D. You also have to have the folks to do the work. And so we're proud to be number one in the Midwest for workforce development. We have the third largest community college uh, system uh, in the United States. And all of our workforce training programs are led by employers, funded by the state, but led by employers. So the idea is to be able to train on the skills that we need, that local employers need, so that we can fill jobs quickly. That makes us very agile when it comes to meeting local market demand. The other major advantage we have is that infrastructure that CNBC rated us so highly on. Yep, you've got O'Hare, which is still one of the most globally connected airports in the world. Uh, but you also have the only state where all the class one railroads meet, and they meet in multiple locations within Illinois. You have the third largest interstate highway system. Uh, and of course, the rivers, we can move massive amounts of product down uh, through the Mississippi into the Gulf and out to the rest of the world. So whether it's railways, runways, rivers, roads, there's no better place to get your product up and out and across the country than Illinois. And it doesn't hurt that a lot of the fiber optic networks meet here in Illinois so that it's great to move data. So when we look at some of the key industries that are here, let's go back one. Uh-oh, here we go. One more. There it is, agribusiness. I mentioned all of those big giant companies that are here. Why? It's some of the reasons I just mentioned, but let's go into a little bit more detail. We're number three in the nation for agribusiness. And at a time when it's really hard to find good people, we have 3,900 plus students graduating every, every year. We're number one in the country for masters in food science. We're number two for PhDs. And we're investing a huge amount of money in R&D here. So when you do that R&D, you get that innovation and you see that growth. But as I said before, it's and. So it's agribusiness and it's technology. Argonne National Labs, Fermi National Labs are certainly renowned uh, for having some of the fastest, well, I, right now we have the fastest supercomputer in the world, but really it's the talent that comes around those places in the universities. The number of tech workers that are here produce a ready workforce to jump into ag tech or frankly any other kind of tech uh, that we've got. This university in particular has a tremendous history of innovation uh, that goes back almost a century. So when you put it together, no surprise that we're first in the Midwest for the number of ag tech startups. And look, you've got a huge number that exist across the entire state of ag tech companies. We've been working to increase those numbers because what we're seeing is that the investors are following suit. Are there any investors in the room today? I see some hands. I want you to be identified so the companies can come to you. <laughs> Having not just the research, the innovation, but also the investment, the incentives, the full wraparound package to make your company successful is what we've tried to do. So you see companies like Aquaculture Foods, a fishless seafood, Bright Farms, hydroponic farming. Uh, we worked on bringing LG Chem sustainable plastics in here, a $400 million investment in Syngenta as well. And these are just the tip of the iceberg of what's possible. So my message to you is, first of all, thank you for what you're doing. Secondly, if you're visiting Illinois, Consider staying in Illinois. Look at the community that's around you right now. Look at the other folks who are working to solve some of the same problems that you are. Make sure you've got that support if you don't have that at home. We would welcome you here. We'd be proud to work with you. If you want to reach me, 
Uh, I'll put my uh, information on the screen. Uh, and I believe we have two other people from Intersect Illinois, Lenora, Paulina. There's one, there's two. Come find us. We'll help you get settled here as well. Thank you so much for having me. Let's have a great conference.